James didn't want the earthworm and the centipede to get into another argument, so he said quickly to the earthworm, Tell me, do you play any kind of music? No, but I do other things, some of which are really quite extraordinary, the earthworm said, brightening. <clears throat> Such as what? asked James. Well, the earthworm said, Next time you stand, stand in a field or a garden and look around you, then just remember this, that every grain of soil upon the surface of the land, every tiny little bit of soil that you can see, has actually passed through the body of an earthworm during the last few years. Isn't that wonderful? It's not possible, James said. My dear boy, it's a fact. You mean you actually swallow soil? Like mad, the earthworm said proudly. In one, in one end and out the other. But what's the point? What do you mean, what's the point? Why do you do it? We do it for the farmers. It makes the soil nice and light and crumbly so that things will grow well in it. If you really want to know, the farmers couldn't do without us. We are essential. We are vital. So it's only natural that the farmer should love us. He loves us even more. I believe that when that he loves the ladybug. The ladybug, James, turning, turning to look at her. Do they love you too? I am told that they do, the ladybug answered modestly, blushing all over. In fact, I understand that in some places, the farmers love us so much that they will go out and buy live ladybugs by the stackful and take them home and set them free in their fields. They are pleased when they have lots of ladybugs in their fields. But why, James asked. Because we gobble, gobble up all the nasty insects that are gobbling up the farmer's crops. It helps enormously, and we ourselves don't charge a penny for our services. I think you're wonderful, James told her. Can I ask you one special question? Please do. Well, it's, is it really true that I can tell how old a ladybug by counting her spots? Oh, no. That's just a children's story, the ladybug said. We never change our spots. Some of, some of us, of course, are born with more spots than others, but we never change them. The number of spots on the ladybug has, is simply a way for sh of showing which branch of the family she belongs to. I, for example, as you see for yourself, I am nine-spotted ladybug. I am very lucky. It's a fine thing to be. It is indeed, James said, gazing at the beautiful scarlet shell with nine black spots on it. On the other hand, the ladybug went on, some of my less fortunate relatives have no more than two spots altogether on their shells. Can you imagine that? They are called two-spotted ladybugs and, they, and very common, ill-mannered they are. And I regret to say, and then, of course, you have the five-spotted ladybugs as well. They are much nicer than the two-spotted ones, although I myself find them a trifle too saucy for my taste. But they are, but they are all, but they all, but they are all, all of them, but they are all of them loved, James said. Yes. The ladybug answered quietly, they are all, they are all of them loved. It seems almost everyone around, around here is loved, James said. How nice, how nice this is. Not me, the centipede said happily. I'm a pest and proud of it. And I, oh, oh, I am such shocking, dread, dreadful pest. Here, here, said the earthworm. But, <clears throat> What are you, Miss Spider? James said. Aren't you also a much, lo much loved in the world? Alas, no, Miss Spider answered, sighing long and loud. I am not loved at all. 
and yet I do nothing but good all day long. I catch flies, mosquitoes in my webs. I am a decent person. I know you are, James said. It is very unfair the way that, very unfair the way we spiders are treated, Miss Spider went on. Why, only last week, your own horrible Aunt Sponge flushed my poor dear father down the plunge hole in the bathtub. Oh, how awful, cried James. I watched the whole thing from the corner up in the ceiling that Miss Spider murmured. I was, it was a it was ghastly. We never saw him again. A large tear rolled rolled down her cheek and fell with a splash on the floor. But this is not very but it is not very unlucky to kill a spider, James inquired. Of course it's unlucky unlucky to kill a spider, shouted the centipede. It's about the unluckiest thing anyone can do. Look what happened to Aunt Sponge after she'd done that bump. We we all felt it, and didn't we? Didn't we? As the peach went down over her. Oh, what a lovely bump that must have been for you, Miss Spider. It was very satisfactory, Miss, Sp Miss Spider answered. Will you sing us the song about it yet, please? So the centipede did. Aunt Sponge was was terribly fat and tremendously flabby at that. Her tummy was weight her tummy and waist were soggy as paste. It was the worst it was worse on the place where she sat. Oh she said, I must make myself flat. I must make myself sleek as a cat. I shall do whatever do without dinner to make myself thinner. But along came the peach, oh, the beautiful peach, that made her thinner than that. That was very nice, Miss Spider said. Now sing one about Aunt Spiker. With pleasure, the centipede answered, grinning. Aunt Spiker was thin as a wire, as dry as a bone, only drier. And sh she was so long and thin, if you carried her in, you could use her for poking the fire. I must do something quickly, she frowned. I want fat, I want pound upon pound. I must eat lots and lots of marshmallows and chocks till I start bulging out all around. And yes, she announced, I have sworn that I'll alter my figure by dawn, by dawn. Cry to the, cried the peach with a with a snigger. I'll alter your figure, and ironed her out on the lawn. Everyone clapped and called out for more songs. The cent, from the centipede, who was all at once launched into his favorite song of all, "Once Upon a Time, When Pigs Were Swine." And monkeys chewed tobacco, and the hens took snuff to make themselves tough. And the ducks said quack, quack, quacko. The porky and the porcupines drank fiery wines, and the goats ate tapioca. And old mother 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 got stuck in the. Look out, centipede! Cried James. Look 